there are bad video games like Anthem, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and Fallout 76 throughout history. And then there's shovelware. Oftentimes poorly made and mass-produced, shovelware can range from non-games that serve no purpose other than to provide easy trophies to blatant copyright infringements, looking to scam some poor souls. Let's take a look at the worst, most rubbish shovelware on the Xbox and PlayStation stores. War God's Zeus of Child it's not available on the Xbox Store anymore, but War God's Zeus of Child reignited the focus on shovelware. Developed by Dolaka Limited, which described it as a great war game, players controlled an unabashed clone of Kratos and simply hacked away at enemies until they eventually died. It's obviously meant to cash in on the hype of God of War Ragnarok, which releases in November for PS4 and PS5. But this isn't the developer's first or fifth rip-off rodeo. Dinosaur Falling Survival Dalaka Limited also quote-unquote developed Dinosaur Falling Survival, a single-player platforming title described as a complete survival game. In short, it's a Fall Guys knockoff. Which is hilarious because Fall Guys isn't a single-player game. Nevertheless, it features small, cramped stages, outfits based on franchises like Mario, and horrendous visuals. It's also been removed from the Xbox Store following complaints, so that's nice. Pickle Run Though Dalaka doesn't seem to have a presence on the PlayStation Store, PS4 and PS5 games are at the mercy of S-Mobile games and masterpieces like Pickle Run. You play as a perpetually smiling pickle in an auto-run style platformer. There are 12 levels, but you can complete it in less than half an hour. Never mind getting its platinum trophy in about two minutes. Don't worry though, this is only a tease of S-Mobile's other efforts. The Jumping Sushi The premise behind The Jumping Sushi from Tylo Krugstek, TA Thai Games, is pretty simple. You're a piece of sushi on a table and you jump. There's a jump counter, existence is pain, and the universe is suffering a slow heat death. But at least you can platinum it in about four minutes. Find it on the PlayStation Store for either the PS4 or PS5, if you dare. Coffee Run Coffee Run sees you playing as a sentient cup of coffee, auto-running and platforming through a coffee shop. If the platform's gameplay and creeping sense of dread make this seem like an asset flip of Pickle Run, then you're absolutely correct, since it's made by the same developer, S-Mobile Games. But at least there are cake slices to collect, and a floating sentient donut to defeat, so there's that, and not much else. Classic platformer Mariones. But enough about 3D models and actual gameplay systems. Regardless of the poor results, it's time to return to the land of Dolaka and its cheap ripoffs. Available on Xbox Store, classic platformer Mariones, yes, that's the actual name, is obviously trying to rip off Mario. You can collect stars, items, and gold. You can skip many chapters and even save the princess. Is it really enjoyable or even a classic, as the store listing clearly says? We're gonna say no. Shooter Garen Attacks If you're looking for reprieve from Dalaka's horrendous platforming efforts, then good news. It has some shovelware action games as well. Shooter Garen Attacks on the Xbox Store has you playing as a shirtless tattooed dude with questionable hair gunning down the glass foes from super hot en route to capturing the big castle. Too many enemies is a selling point, but existential dread isn't, which is a shame, but at least it supports HoloLens, maybe. Hero Sonic Pixel Adventures Available for the criminally low price of free on the Microsoft Store, Hero Sonic Pixel Adventures looks like a trip. It's not just that the characters are amateurish copies of Sonic and Knuckles, but that the overall visual design is a mess with its enemies, environments, items, button icons, you name it, splayed everywhere. Boosting 36 levels and 4 bosses, Super Sonic Pixel Adventures, which is its name in the listing's description, promises, quote, addictive and exhilarating arcade gameplay, unquote. Grab it now before the inevitable takedown request from Sega comes through. 
minicar race karting Marioter. Touted as a brand new kart racing game that is like a Mario Kart game, Delaka's minicar race karting Marioter just straight up uses Mario's model and kart. The other vehicles include minicars, though, because one's production budget for ripoffs only goes so far. Hilariously, despite claiming you can race with a friend, minicar race karting Marioter is listed as single player only because, of course. Kruger. Much like Blood Waves, but with a much more appealing aesthetic, Kruger from developer Zachrim SRO on PS4 gives you some hope. It requires some modicum of platforming skill with bouncy platforms, fireballs, spikes to avoid, and moving platforms. But just when it seems like the tutorial section is done, the game unceremoniously ends after just three levels. No explanation, no discernible meaning, nothing. Simply take your platinum and leave without too much fuss if you would. Fly Monster 3D of course, on returning to Delaka's efforts on the Xbox Store, one is greeted with masterpieces like Fly Monster 3D. You control Arceus from the Pokemon series and fly over the sea trying to not hit rocks. There's a high score, or probably a legal notice from Nintendo en route at some point. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.